Within this lesson, we're going to explore properties of prime and composite numbers to 100 by using multiples. Recall that our prime numbers are those numbers that have exactly two factors, one in itself. So some of our prime numbers would be 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and there's more of them as well. Our other type of number is composite numbers, and these are our numbers that have more than two factors. So things like 24, 80, 96, those would all be composite numbers. Let's take a look at this another way. We're going to use the sieve of Aristophanes. Aristophanes used this method to be able to find all of those prime numbers. It's an ancient algorithm that this Greek mathematician used to find these prime numbers. Here we have a chart from 1 to 100. We also could have started from 0 to 99 instead of starting from 1 to 100. The first thing that we're going to do in using the sieve of Aristophanes is to go shade 1 in pink. And the reason is that 1 is neither prime nor composite. And you will see that in a little bit. Next, we'll go ahead and circle the first unmarked number. In circling that first unmarked number, we're circling 2. After that, we cross off every multiple of that number except the one that I circled. So we're crossing off 4 and 6, 8, 10, continue counting by 2s, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and all the way up to 100. So that I have X'd out all of those multiples of 2. Then I repeat steps A and B, which is circling that first unmarked number, and crossing off all of those multiples of that number. 3, well, 6 already is crossed off, so I don't have to cross it off again. 9 is crossed off then. And then we continue counting by 3s. 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39. And we continue to cross those off all the way up to 100. Cross off 51, 54, 57, 60, 63, 66, 69. 3 times 23 is 69, and continue to count up 3 from there at 72, then 75, 78, 81, 84, 87, 90, 93, 96, 99. So we crossed off all of our multiples of 3. Then we repeat steps A and B again. We circle that first unmarked number. A, 5s are easy. We know that it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. We'll notice that they actually all fall within a column. We already crossed off all of those that end with a 0. So we will then cross off all those that end with that 5, knowing that those are all multiples of 5. Next number that we circle, which is a prime number, is going to be 7. Count by 7s. 7, 14, then what? 21, 28, 35, 42, 49. What else? 56, 63, 70, 77, 84, it's already crossed off, 91, okay, and that is it.
because the other one was 98, which we already crossed off. Next, we have 11, which we come to. 11 is an easy one. It's actually, there's a pattern here, 11 times 2, 11 times 3. All these ones here, which are already all crossed off. Next, we have 13. So we will circle it, counting by 13s. 26 is our next number. Then 39. You could even count by 13 if you wanted to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yep, 13 times 4 is 52. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 65. I know adding 13 to that is 78. Adding 13 to that is, let's see, 81, 91. Crossed it off already, and then adding 13 to that would take us off our chart. Continuing from there, we have 17. It goes 17, then 34, then 51, which we already had. 17 times 3 is 51. That's why you'd crossed it off already. Next from there would be 68. And then if we wanted to add 17 to that, we also could just count it from there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yep, 85. 17 more would be 102, but that's off of the chart. Continuing from there, we have 19 as well, which we circle. And 19 is 19, then 38, which is gone already. 57 is our next number there. 19 more than that. Well, 20 more than that would have been here, so one less than that is there. 20 more than that is here, one less than that is there. Yep, those are all gone as well. Next number we circle is 23. It goes 23 to 46 to 69 to 92, I believe. So we go 20, 21, 22, 23. Yep, those are all gone. As we continue to look at those numbers, the numbers that we are circling are, they are those prime numbers that we have. 3, 59, 61, 67, 71, 73, 79, 83, 89. The only ones that we really would have to check is like 41, because 41 and 41 is 82. 43, because 43 and 43 is 86. 47, which is 47, 47 is 84. 37 and 37 is 74. That's already gone as well. These ones we don't have to check with the 53, because at this point, 50 or more, is already going to be off of our charts when it is that we're adding them. So these numbers that we circled by using the sieve of Aristophanes are going to be our prime numbers. So our circled ones are our prime numbers. And the ones that we had crossed off and X'd are our composite numbers. You'll notice the one in red, hey, that one's different. That one is neither a prime or composite number. So that's how we use our sieve of Aristophanes to show prime and composite numbers, how we use our understanding of multiples to help us. Oops, almost missed one, 97, also a prime number. Say our primes with me, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 